I'm Katie Guild. And I'm Jake Guild. We live in Lower Paradise off of Neal Road. Before the campfire, I had an in-home daycare. And now I just watch one family. And I'm an IT consultant for Chico State. Well, at, at first, we like when we saw the, the plume of smoke, we didn't think it was that big a deal. Um, because I've lived here my whole life. We've had a lot of evacuations and nobody really. I was even telling our neighbors that, or, that were fairly new to the neighborhood, like, oh, it's probably, it's a, it's a ways away, it's not a big deal. And then and then Jake got home, came home from work and was like, well, it's, it's kind of a big deal. It's over by Feather River now. Um, so when we actually decided to leave after we packed up the cars with a bunch of stuff, uh, <laughs> the kids thought we were going on, what did they say? Um, our daughter thought we were going on a field trip, a fire field trip. I did have daycare kids that morning and fortunately most of them got picked up. I just had to take one family with us. So it was not harrowing at all though. We, we, we headed down Neal Road behind a CHP officer and it took maybe 10 minutes to get from here to the highway and then we went to McDonald's and Chico. <laughs> we left about 10 and it was pitch black and the power had been out. But we didn't see any flames or anything like that. I feel bad talking about our evacuation because so many people had evacuations that were harrowing and driving through the fire where our kids were like, this is great. And we didn't see fire. And up until really when we left, Neil Road wasn't even stopped. Like it was just a couple cars. It was, it was we were, and then, we could see 99 before we actually got stuck in traffic. We just liked hanging out with friends. I, we don't really have anywhere specific we went. We went to Cozy Diner a lot. And yeah, <laughs> Cozy Diner a lot. Well, my favorite thing to do in paradise was to be at home. I mean, all of our family was here too, and so we, you know, have people over and and all the family and all of our um, like holiday dinners and summer get-togethers. I just made a dirt angel. Just being with I just made a dirt angel. with our people. My favorite. Well, that was our favorite thing to do. Favorite memory. Both our oh. kids were born here. <laughs> Both our kids were born. It's birthday place. We were married here. I lived here my entire life. Every house that I ever lived in, every house I ever lived in is now not a house, so. I always went on vacation here, so my favorite memory was the smell, like the pine smell. It always reminds me of like when I was 10 and we went on vacations and life was simpler and less burned down. <laughs> uh, as a family, extended family, we all kind of asked each other what we wanted to do because my parents are here, her parents are here. Our cousins are here, aunts, uncles, pretty much everybody. And I really like my job. And so we decided we wanted to stay because I have a good job and I really like it. And because we decided to stay and we have kids, they're like leverage. And so then all our parents stayed and grandparents and so on. And so uh, we all just kind of, as a family unit, decided to stay. Uh, our insurance was super great. And so it made the rebuilding process a little easier too. I am most looking forward to the quiet. We are in Chico right now in right the middle the hospital. of everything. And um, I can't wait to be back in the quiet. It's loud and there's helicopters and sirens and there's been two shootings in the last like month and a half. Not too far from us. And the college kids. I mean, I'm around <laughs> college kids enough, but like it's just parties and it's noise. So it'll be nice to get back to paradise where it's quiet and it'll kind of be a little small town. I mean, even smaller now. And we'll now. have a fenced yard, which has been really hard um, to not have a fenced yard for our kids to, because they were used to being outside all the time. We had a great yard. The hardest part of rebuilding for us is probably the waiting. It, everything just takes forever. And then all of the choices, they, I never realized quite how many choices went into building anything like Especially it's overwhelming yeah, all you, of the choices you that we want have to them. make and you, you want you're excited to make the choices of the paint color how high you want ceilings or whatever but having 
being inundated with how many little choices you got to make by paint color and what you want the walls to look like or how high you want the ceilings. It's just you are excited to make the choices, but there's so many you have to make in such a small amount of time. In addition to the rest of life, it's just, it's really exhausting. So, I think that the biggest um, obstacle to rebuilding, I've heard a lot of people say, is just the cost and, and the uncertainty of everything, the water, what the actual cost will be. Even wanting to move back, like we have our family, I've got my job, but we have a lot of friends that are not moving back either because of cost or they were moving anyway and this just up to that timeline. So we're going to have a lot of people still we know and so we're not just going to be all alone where a lot of people, you know, they might have had a lot of friends that already moved on or they might not have their job anymore and so... We'll have a lot of family but not, but a lot of our friends have left. Well, paradise is still here. It's going to look different. We can kind of shape what it's going to look like. It's, it's exciting and it's scary, but it, I think that it's going to be, it's going to be great because we can make it what we want. Yeah. I mean, and life goes on one way or another. So, you know, I want to be in paradise and it's going to look different. Sure. But at the end of the day though, we're still here and you know, everybody's move back story is going to be a little different. I wish, man, I wish I had something better to say. <laughs> right. I know. I don't. I mean, like here we're standing in like our framed house and we're like, oh, just decide. But it's not that easy. Like we have family and we have people here, but not everybody has that. And I wish I had a way to encourage people past just saying cliches that are like, oh, we'll yeah. decide and it'll be great. You can choose your own future. I'm excited to move back. I'm excited to be here as it regrows again and it reshapes itself and it'll be like we're here from the beginning again and that's kind of exciting plus i want to be here this is home that's what it comes down to